for quite a while. Light Skin Love on a Monday morning, or Monday kind of morning. It's the rollout, the all-new rollout show right here at Morris Media. Uh, you can check us out on speedyandfriends.net. That's speedyandfriends.net if you want to check us out. It is your boy, Speed Doggy Dog, in the building. And we got... No, we don't. We don't hear you. The poetess. Now we do. <laughs> And Nikki Pam. Nikki Pam. We're waiting on... Uh, Kente. Yeah, he went to an audition. Apparently, he's playing uh, Caitlyn Jennings' uh, son <laughs> in a biop. <laughs> Biopic. I right. called it a biop. Don't ever correct me on the radio. <laughs> <laughs> it is Monday. Welcome all the fans and uh, people who kind of like us a little bit. People on your page who really like you, uh, Portis. What? The people on your page, on your little personal page. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she got like nine personal pages. She does. <laughs> with no, no more than 20 people is, on each one. Three. What it is is that <laughs> we have a bunch of spinoff pages from the fo- starting from the Foxhole days. Oh, yeah. They stayed with us. So the fans, they've made about 20 pages. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> and, but they're not all mine. I think I have like two or three. It's yours. Don't worry about it. Uh Great time this weekend. We won, motherfuckers! In oh, you did? Who it's played? It's a miracle. Who played? A, a miracle. Bitch. Fox played. He That's died. why. Yeah, Fox, he fucked up a couple times, but uh, he played. And they gave us a couple players. Oh, they did? Yeah, and they real nice. We was down 18-4. to four. What? In the fifth inning, we only played seven. And we won 18-19. and nine. 18-19. And Your boy got hits up in this. How year. many did? points right, two did hits. you gain? What the fuck? How many points, Speedy? It doesn't work like that in softball. I got uh, three hits. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Like, I'm nice. I'm, was, man, I'm, I'm so I'm, mad I'm I got missed in Fox. Me. I would have went out in that 106 yeah. degrees. It wasn't that hot. We pressure. played at 530, so we made sure we played a lot later oh, in, the, okay. in the day. And I told him from here on out, our team is sensitive. Niggas is... <laughs> Whose uh, team did you play against? This other team. They were nice. Them motherfuckers, man. Even the girls could hit. And uh, they had went up and was whooping our ass. It was like really? the same old shit again. Really? But then we kind of like start coming together. We got a few hits. We got some big old dark skin. We had to put some. You know what it is? You got to have some real dark skin brothers on your team. <laughs> you got to have. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> take. I'm gonna take it back to back in the day when niggas would get in trouble. When these white folks would. You got to have some mandingos. You got to have some mandingos. That's so who so was racist. dark skin on your on your team? We, we picked up these two big. Dark brother. Oh, from the other side. No, nah, they, they they apparently when people hear about softball leagues, they kind of show up, Lauren. You guys need any players? And mm-hmm. We're like, yeah, I need some players. And he, they look like they play football. One of them is in uh, the the show. Um, it's on HBO. Uh, golly, I want to, the players or uh, ballers. He's on oh, that ballers. show. Ballers, oh. dark skin brother, and he's on that show. And uh, so he's like, yeah, I can play with y'all till November. We start back filming in November. Oh, really? Oh, that's what's up. That's how he talk. That's what's up. <laughs> he talk like that's that. how we, we play in November. <laughs> and they motherfucker hit that ball a mile. He was like, CJ, uh, uh, what you come from? <laughs> Soldier story? Uh-huh, uh-huh. <laughs> I'll put a crow's foot on you. <laughs> <laughs> you got to have some dark skin. his show, so. Yeah, that motherfucker hit the shit out that fucking ball. We came back and won, and we are with us. <laughs> Fuck you motherfuckers that didn't want to play with us, Porter. Yeah, I'm like. <sighs> no support. Post uh, no, Fuck you in this I heat. I had stuff to do here at the studio. Oh, what'd you do? Cleaned up, vacuumed. Oh, yeah. Uh, it cleaned the clean. bathroom. Yeah, very clean. Yeah, you got and... all the clothes off the floor. <laughs> And um, we had some issues here this weekend. The air went out. The oh wow! The garage, the not the garage, but the gate <laughs> was stuck, and uh, no internet. So yeah, that's not a good move. I had to make sure all that stuff was good to go by. That's today. what you did for your weekend. You didn't go to a thing on Sunday. I did go to the day party, How the was kiss it? and grind. It was great. It was excellent. Um, it was at a uh, Grand uh, Park downtown L.A. Um, I think there was maybe about 500 people there. Whoa. It was, was it hot? It was hot, but it was not that bad. Mm-hmm. Um, Questlove from The Roots uh, did a nice set uh, Michael Jackson uh, tribute. Did you mm-hmm. party like a rock star? No, I just kicked back on the grass and listened to the music, and then I danced a little bit because they play excellent music. That's why I go in the first place. Okay. Um, I did run into Kente. I was going to ask you. Was Social he, butterfly. What was he doing? You gotta he give was talking to here. blue lips, but this time oh. her lips were green. She had green <laughs> lips. 
Who was the young lady we saw at, um, was it Palm Springs? No, where do we see her first? Blue Lips? Yeah. It was, no, he had saw her at that last no, kiss. No, he Ryan. saw her at last kiss and Yeah, okay. and then the, and pulled us to pictures. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, she has some blue ass, blue, blue, she blue. Had, mm-hmm. She had uh, green lips that mm. match her camouflage uh, pants. Damn. Okay. Why well, would that look good on your. Uh, anyway. I, if uh, Kente uh, is not. <clears throat> and then I seen them giving each other their number again. I'm like, did she just delete? <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> they were exchanging sorry, numbers again. Number. And then, you know, because they they exchanged numbers last so time. So did he boot? Was he boot up with her? No, or he, he wasn't was boot up. To... He was just talking to her. Oh, okay. But it was so many people this time, you mm-hmm. know, you can really see everybody. I like the more intimate setting that they had last month. Mm-hmm. And why was it, what, what was the difference? Is they it... were out at a big park last time, and the other time they were at, like, a, a venue outside, oh, okay. Okay. like yeah. a patio. I'm so the next one is October? They're usually the last Sunday... In of the, the month. month of the month, okay. But they might end them once the summers, you know. The right, I'm putting it on record. Weather change. We are at right to this day. We are 22 days away from my birthday. Uh oh, what wow. are we doing? Is that a news flash? Is that, I'm gonna do it every <laughs> single time I'm here. I'm gonna give you an update. We 22 days from my birthday, September 21st. Do you have something planned? I'm going to the Bunny Ranch. Oh, that's right. I'll oh, be there fuck with you. us. Actually, I'm going to. I got to invite. Too. Well, what happened? What? what? See, <laughs> what happened? Well, you know, D- Dennis is my boy, so we know. Yeah, I, I get to invite him. Well, we all need to be going mm-hmm. then if that's the yeah, case. They, I, remember, we, we may have to talk about this over there, but remember, we <laughs> talked about this <laughs> shit. Yes, we did. That's said, why I'm like. They said, no, uh, you must have the like, wrong I, idea. No, he I was said, like, he Dennis said, I spend for, I send for speedy, yeah. but the rest of y'all. He, he said, well, pay it, because, you know, everything was going great. Uh-huh. And we said, okay, we, and we sent him a nice little number, and that motherfucker said, <laughs> yeah, uh, ain't I didn't ask for this. <laughs> yeah. We don't need all this shit. I said, we got, we got our own comedian. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we telling jokes. But, Speedy, you're on the flyer, though. I am? Mm-hmm. I haven't seen the flyer. Yeah, they sent it to me. I have to look for it. Are uh, you performing? Madam Suzette sent just... it to me. No, I'm just... Yeah, you are performing. Oh, Madam Suzette sent me something, and your picture is on it. Mm. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah, they got you as talent. Hold on. Uh, I'm going to have to call the bunny ranch. Yeah, because uh, you need a check. We yeah, need a check. Yeah, I didn't. Let's see. <laughs> they uh, told me, nigga, just bring your ass and sit down. Who did they send it to? Let's see, That's Madam. Because he, uh, what's her name? Um, Madam Suzette. Yeah, one of them hit Madam Suzette. Yeah, no, it was another chick. Uh, there you are, with. baby girl. Baby boy, I mean. <laughs> Sp- uh, speeding. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I'm somebody. Yep, you up there I with. I need to call them. Yeah. They, they don't you. mean I'm doing no stand-up. Uh, you under the, you with the stars? I mean. Birthday prom night. Mm-hmm. Oh, you need to send me this. Birthday okay. prom night. Yeah, that's, that's, who this nigga? Are these porno stars? No. Johnny Bus? Yeah, Johnny uh, Bus is always yeah, there. Yeah, that sounds Flav, like Flav. Flav. Flavor Flav. Oh, I'm, I'm there. <laughs> Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. I had it said, okay, Jeremy. it says hosted by Ron Jeremy, uh-huh. Flavor Flav, Johnny Bus. Who's this? Panna? P- Panama. Him. Panama, I guess that's a wrestler. And Speedy. Yep. Nigga. So, Speedy, that means you I'm can bring bunny. us. I am somebody right now. I'm calling. I'm going to call. Didn't Ask him like, can we still me? do the show from there. I'm going to ask him. I didn't, cause I, I, I didn't know about this. I'll, I'll call him. The motherfuckers told me. Uh, they told us nigga, to kick rocks. Kick motherfucking rocks and don't ever. <laughs> I heard about that, but. Come over here with this bullshit. I got my invitation. So separate. Thursday is the uh, cocktail party at the Bunny Ranch. Mm-hmm. Uh, travel party to all ranches. Yeah, that means the B Red Ranch. Red Light. Yeah. Cabaret. I've been there. The the B Ranches. Yeah, it's something that's else. Sep- that's sep- the that's September holes. 18th. September 19th mm-hmm. is a birthday event. Uh, at the Bunny Bar. Yeah, that's at the, 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 fuck the that Cat is. House. And then the day before my birthday is the Hangover Pool Party. Yep, at the <laughs> Nigga, I might see y'all uh, at the end of the month. <laughs> the Hangover Pool, you stand for all that? Uh, yeah, if he, yeah I'm, uh, he usually sends for me, so I'm be like, yeah, you send it for me? That's going to be awkward. Why? Why is Pam here? Anyway. Oh, hilarious. <laughs> hey, I knew you him before y'all hey, did. I'm let's let's keep it real. <laughs> I you. wish she would. <laughs> <laughs> so, again, I will be there. But y'all can still celebrate my birthday here now. Don't act like. What's the point? Parties? I want, I'll be there. No, I'm talking about we're going to celebrate. We're going to party. Oh, afterwards? No, period. Up until then, we're going to party like a rock star till I leave. 
Okay. I want a cake from you, motherfuckers. Till, I want it all. Until you leave where? To go do that. Oh, so you're not bringing us? No, you could. Girl, if you don't bring your tone down, what the fuck is wrong with you? I told you the white folks said, fuck me and my idea. That's when we told them we were going to charge them to do it. We'll talk off here. I, I get a guest poet, is for sure. There you go. I See, get you a guest. Never mind. I, I'm not begging to go nowhere. You're not begging? Nah, it's cool. She got a guest. Fuck your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> he said, what about me? Fuck your birthday now. Why do you why you always go that way? You know that's you. In a nut one minute you're like, no, since we ain't gonna happen. All right, then fuck it. No, no, you can do it. Fuck your shit. Then. <laughs> she does. You did that in uh oh you weren't with us then, I don't think. Where? When I did a big show in Sacramento. Uh uh-uh, uh, I wasn't there. Oh God. Poetess is a beast, man. So Poe said, don't forget, you know, she always starts, I need my passes. I got you. I got your passes. Don't worry mm-hmm. about it. Boom. Mm-hmm. We're doing a big show in uh, Sacramento. I'm hosting. Uh, it's You know, it's, it's a lot. Uh, who was on the show? A kid in play. Or kid was. Coco. Uh, Coca. Uh, um, who was Coca? De- Coco Brown. Coco Brown. Oh, Coco Brown. Uh, uh, Kevin Hart was there. Kevin Hart got out on it. Oh, I really? still haven't seen that DVD. We shot a DVD in uh, really? Speedy and Friends DVD in what? Sacramento. Off the damn chain. Uh, our DJ at that time was um, from New York. He did, did Def Jam. Mm, not Kid Capri. Yeah, Kid Capri. Mm. Kid Capri was the DJ. What? Off the fucking chain. So P- I'm waiting, getting dressed. I got a film. Mm-hmm. Phone blowing up. I'm like, oh, poor. I'm down here at the bottom. They don't have my name at the fucking door. <laughs> oh, this, shit. that bullshit, Speedy. I said, poor, I'm getting dressed, but I'll send somebody out. Fuck your shit. I'm finna send somebody down. Okay. So she finally come upstairs. She come upstairs. I get try to give her a hug. They finally because they get her in. Uh-huh. Niggas fucking up. Uh-huh. I say everything cool. This is not true. But go ahead. Uh oh. Finish your lie. <laughs> really? I had my mom with me. And I had your. They had your passes. No, they, they just didn't. hadn't taken them down there. They didn't. Did you get it? I didn't cuss at you like that. <gasps> Seize her! You <laughs> infidel! You did. You called me all kind of motherfucking names. I don't like names. to have my mom waiting outside, okay? So, so you did do it then? You did no, call I me did that. not. Poor this. You were wrong. <laughs> you were so fucking. Anyway, she called me every name but a child of God. <laughs> but the child of God. And then when they finally got her in, I said, you know, you try to give somebody a hug. She said, any way, motherfucker. Where's our seats? Oh, shit. I said, oh, shit. Speedy, you are putting two on the ten. <laughs> two on the ten. <laughs> well, you ten to two. I know that got that. <laughs> I didn't do all that. What happened, boys? I got there, and you didn't have my tickets. And you knew I was coming. I drove 45 minutes there. Portis, they, ha- they hadn't brought them downstairs. Okay, then why would I cuss you out? Because they didn't bring them downstairs. Because you was texting me, and then you said, my motherfucking tickets ain't here. I didn't say that. Find that text. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Find that phone. <laughs> I think that was my flip phone back in the day. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. But we got you, P. You ain't begging to go. We got you. I didn't know you still wanted to go. I didn't know that you guys were still going. I, I told don't know you if that. I want to go or not. Oh, anyway. God damn. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems so nasty. Hook, hook it up. It's, it's, not not it's, it's not nasty. It's not nasty. It's very clean, and it's it's really fun. I mean, they got gambling and stuff it's like nasty. that. They got the casinos. It's Reno. It's gonna be Reno. Some fucking going on. Is well, wife, I ain't gonna are you be bringing us. wifey? Yeah, I, what you think she's gonna let me go by myself? What the <laughs> fuck? Is she? Yeah, I'll never get it that good. I know <laughs> it's Palm Springs, boy. I was like even Hawaii. Think about it. When she found out about Hawaii. She's like, oh no, I've already blocked them dates off. I'm like, uh, okay, I guess. I've already took those days off for work. <laughs> Look, I guess you're going. <laughs> 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 no fucking way. That's why. And to remind everybody, we are going to Hawaii uh, February 28th through no, January 28th through February 2nd. We will be in Hawaii. And uh, get your tickets now. We're going to have a whole lot of fun. If you haven't been to Hawaii, if you've been, you should go. But if you've never have, this is a great way to make it happen. Plus, you get to roll with us. and You're gonna have, you know you're going to have some fun. You're going to yeah. laugh. Poet is going to be getting their birthday. See, we're going to get your birthday party going to be off the chain. Mm-hmm. That's that bullshit. It's going to be so crazy. Yeah, it is. She's going to be drinking left and right. If you want to go with us, you just go to... Uh, Upackiplan.com. Yeah, go to youpackiplan.com. Uh, $100 deposit. That's all you need to get it going. Mm-hmm. Uh, make sure you hit the uh, let them know that you heard it here on the uh, all-new Rollout show. And uh, we're definitely going to see you there. Um, 
Noel Gordine will mm-hmm. be performing Thursday. Mm-hmm. Uh, Friday, they're doing all kind of different events. Saturday, we'll be by the pool doing the show live. So you mm-hmm. come kick it with us. And then we have Saturday night, we have the comedy show. Mm-hmm. And we just added, yep. just added the tailgate party we're going to do at the stadium in the parking lot. You can come over there and kick it with us some and bar- get you some food, barbecue, barbecue with oh. us. Yep. Be off the damn shame. P, you gonna cook something or make? Some, I know you make. No, it's no, my you do birthday tacos, weekend. But you do tacos pretty good. Well, yeah. that's not. We're not, we're not doing that. We're doing like barbecue, right? Yeah, but you could do tacos yeah, at tailgate. You could, ever tailgate? Yeah, yeah, but why? I don't. You like ever tailgate? Like San Diego Chargers, yeah. Porters? Um, no, I don't think I ever have. <laughs> you don't like sports. Well. <laughs> <laughs> my cousin. I went to a 49er, a, what was it? A 49er Raiders game in L.A. before. <laughs> When Man, the Raiders were LA. LA Raiders, you know how long ago that was. Yeah, yeah that oh. was a long yes. time ago. Actually, speaking of that, I think they're making progress in Carson. Did you guys hear that? No, nah. they're talking about the Raiders or the or the Chargers coming I, to I Carson. I think it's going to be the Chargers. I, I, I do too think because they so. just, they were saying that they couldn't close the deal up at that uh, stadium. Was it Qualcomm or, or I don't know what it's called now, yeah. but um, they couldn't close the deal, so they're definitely considering coming to LA. But I think for the Raiders, you make it sound like you're going to leave, and then they'll build something because I don't think they're going to pull them from Oakland because you've already Why taken. Not? I don't want you, them to leave Oakland because you've already taken out the go to. State Warriors, they're now in closer to San Francisco, more so than they were. They're now they're right in the heart of Oakland. Okay. Now they the stadium they just finished building is near San Francisco. So now they're out of they're out of Oakland and you're gonna mm-hmm. take the Oakland Raiders out? Nah. I think the Raiders are using that so as a charges ploy. Will go down there. Yeah, and- charges a move up. Mm. Because if you live in San Diego, plus it ain't shit to do in San Diego. If the charges wasn't there, whoo, it'd just be a whole bunch of old people. But it's still nice. It's, it's nah, nice to be in spot. None but military and old motherfuckers in San Diego. I really wanted to tell you guys a story about my San Diego thing, but I want to wait till Kente gets here because uh, I need both of your opinions on this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, that's right. You went down for your family. No, it's not even that. It's something to do with well, my How family. was that? Oh, I didn't go. What happened? I ended up doing something else. I don't know what I ended up Fuck doing, him. but uh, yeah. Look at that little young nigga. You yeah. trying to. No. It, so it's his groin is better? No, can't be. No, it's not. But I just, what, should I tell it now or should I wait yeah, for Kente? Yeah, tell to get... it now because we don't even know if Kente is going to show up today. Oh, okay. All right. So basically, I, I had asked him, I said, so when is, your birthday's coming up, right? And I said, oh. It's his birthday. Uh, it's in October. Oh. And I said, uh, no. <laughs> no. Halloween, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, sweetie. <laughs> So anyway, so I said, oh, let me plan something for your birthday. He was like, cool. So I come up with, speaking of San Diego, I said, let's do a weekend in San Diego. Let's bring my cousin and her her boyfriend, and then me and you will do a weekend in San Diego. And so then he hits me big with, back with, um, yeah, I have a game Sunday morning at 830. <laughs> and I'm like, and? <laughs> what that got to do with it? Yeah. yeah. Oh, what the fuck? And I'm like, who the hell? Yeah. First of all, you ain't playing now anyway. You're missing games, right? You ain't playing in the league. Let's make sure we get this correct, <laughs> man. They you. like you on TV on Thursday. And getting paid. Yeah. And getting paid. This so is, I'm this like, is weekend eh. fun. And so then he hits me back, and I save the text. Hold on. I want to be very accurate with the text. Hold make on. Should sure we back the bus up? <laughs> yeah, right let's back it there. up. I actually even photo, uh, screenshot it so I ain't got to dig through my text. Okay, here it is. Oh, that's not it. That's a real nice stuff. Wrong one. Okay, here's the thing. This is from him. I genuinely, I genuinely don't care about my birthday, sweetie. Like, I care about 10 more things over my birthday, and football is definitely above that. I'll think about it, but honestly, my inclination isn't to miss a genuine love over a day I could care less about. What Kick the fuck rocks. Is that? What does that mean? That's not good. What does that mean? Is Wait, could you? I'm sorry. Can uh-huh. you recap that? <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. Okay. Maybe you should let her read it. No, no. Cause, so this is what he's <laughs> Not just the text. What? What? So you said you wanted to make plans for his birthday. Yeah, that Which weekend. is in October. Okay. Yes, in October. Whatever that date is. And he yeah. said, no, I think I got a game that day. Yeah, at 8.30 in the morning, yeah. Sunday. So fuck your plans for my birthday. I really don't give a fuck about my birthday. Now, I'm, yeah, that's don't get me saying. wrong. He's saying, he's saying he'd rather do something he likes to do, and you know, it, it, which is In other words, football. plan your birthday around, your thing around his event. His one, it's an 8.30 game. And I'm like, so I hit him back. I'm like, I'm not trying to rush back on the weekend. Like, to me, if somebody's planning you a free trip, 
and yeah. to somewhere you I don't probably know, Pam. young niggas. They, what they what is get, that about? That's what I'm saying. Pam. That's young. You that's young. You're a grown ass that's man. Be, yeah, that's that's being young. I, I hope he but listens. But you know, what, then yeah. again, uh, some people no, don't. Again. Wait a minute. I don't care about my birthday either. But yes, you do, nigga. You, do. you just sat up here <laughs> <laughs> and said no. we gonna count 22 days down to your All right. birthday. All right, let me get it and out. That you going to the rat, nigga? Please. Let me get it out. Okay. What I mean by that is, mm-hmm. if someone didn't, if someone didn't plan something for, for my birthday, mm-hmm. I wouldn't trip. It's not a big thing. Okay. Uh, I love sports. I love playing sports. If I had a game that day, mm-hmm. and it's and I love playing softball. I love playing b ball. Mm-hmm. But if my wife and if I was just dating, planned something that they were going to take care of, mm-hmm. not me. I ain't got to jump in and do nothing. Fuck that game. That game not that important to me. But that's, that's because you're think. a grown-ass man. And, and that's, what yeah. I, that's what I was getting to. When, once you get now, when I was younger, mm-hmm. 23, mm-hmm. 30. Mm-hmm. Nigga, I, I, yeah, I thought I still had action to get into the league. Yeah. Now you playing a flag <laughs> football game. So we know you ain't getting no money. I understand I'm having fun. This is like what I like to do. But somebody said they got you for the weekend. Right. Uh, okay, well, I'm. What, okay, you what's tell your me. Opinion? I, he's oh. just not that into you. Whoa. Okay. Shot. <laughs> tell, uh, hey. Damn, don't hold shit back. Let her know. Her uh-huh. Unless, like uh-huh. I said, some people don't like celebrating their birthday. But some not like that. Some people don't. They don't like it. Igno- yeah, people like that. Do but that's not, not like an acknowledgement. You. That's just me and you and somebody else going to go well, kick it. Pam, did you offer an, an alternative day? No, for I your did birthday? not. No, I did not. I'm thinking that weekend is perfect. How do you it's have an alternative day for your birthday? What are you going? If your birthday is Monday, well, she said well, like maybe another weekend or maybe if he has. Why would I celebrate thing, another weekend? The other weekend? thing is, the other thing is, you guys are just dating. You guys haven't even established if yeah, you're in you a real relationship. True or that. Not. I'm True getting that. on her side now. Y'all just fuck it. Right. So <laughs> it's Shit not technically. Real. It's not your man. So Whoa! there's no. <laughs> Uh, uh, I see what you're saying. I'm listening. No, uh-huh. Pam, that's, uh-huh. Pam is my girl. Uh-huh. Let me get you a but tissue. But I'm just saying, Because it's coming down. Hold on, let me get this right here. <laughs> you are leaking right now. Shut up. No, I'm not. You're to hit you with some real shit. No, no. I, li- I like the no, man. Technically, Everybody knows I like he's not, you guys are not, haven't established uh, if you, you guys are in a committed relationship or a relationship or have whatever you. it is. Or have you? We've basically we haven't said that, but we basically just know each other how we feel about each other, and you know we. He used we some great that. words. I wanted to tell you that. <laughs> you sound articulate. Oh, but yeah. the other thing is, uh, but at the same time, he sits up here and gets jealous when you're flirting or talking to the ho- guest mm-hmm. on the show. Mm-hmm. So he needs to decide. Then what I would too, do? What mm-hmm. he wants to do? I don't do. plan do? him nothing else. Yeah, I'm at that point. Nigga, you like, don't get nothing. That to me no was a slap in the face. I don't care what nobody no, said. No, he, you know, he no tried to make it like it's no big deal. But to me, right me that let her my feelings. Now, that, now, if it's just a, if it's just like a weekend, let's just go somewhere, and hang. No, nah, I got the game. I'd rather go do that. But it's your birthday weekend, right? You, you could, you could. Ex- it's a flag football game, yeah, but, right? That shit ain't that important. But they're not. It's in, not. They're not like it's for a flag you, football game. You're married, so that's. Mm-hmm. If I wasn't married and somebody that was going to do that for my birthday, right? I'm out. Fellas, I see y'all. It's my birthday weekend. I'm finna go do this. Now, don't get me wrong. I love playing sports. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to. I love playing softball. Mm-hmm. If I thought I could get it in. And get, now, if he's saying, hey, I'm going to roll back, go play my game, and I'm going to drive back and come see you. Okay. We go set. We leave Friday. We go do the, You go do, hang out with, you know, do whatever. Mm-hmm. You, you, you get your ass up. Seven o'clock, get to your game, do your game, get back in the car, meet us back here. By the time you wake up, 11, 12 o'clock, you up, y'all go get some right, breakfast. Right. That's something different. But he's saying, I don't want to do the weekend. Well, he said, no, he said I, he would consider it. Shit. That's what he said, but. You know how much money Pam got? <laughs> Shut up. I ain't got you no consider money. You consider it, nigga? <laughs> I'm just saying. I'd that. have been like, man, I, didn't, I don't have an outfit. All right, all right. <laughs> oh, Watch well, this. Yeah, was... Tell me what you're going to do for my birthday. Well, I thought we can, you know, take a drive up the coast, go to San Diego for the oh, weekend with shit. my cousin my car and her boyfriend. In the shop. My car's in the shop. Um, Damn, what's wrong with your car? Is my, you gonna drive? But yeah, you yeah, gotta I say, was driving. I was, I'm gonna drive. I'm driving. Or everything. we could take a train ride. That would be great. Can, can mm-hmm. I? Go ahead. Oh, carry on. <laughs> so, where were we? You, you gonna drive? Yeah, I was cool. Cool. Then all right, I don't have no outfit. Though. I have nothing to wear. I need some shoes. <laughs> outfit. Babe, I, babe, I want to go, but I don't have nothing to wear. I mean. Can, Poetess, alter ego. <laughs> can, well, what about that outfit you wore? <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. I, I, you looked tight. I, I, I wore that already, so mm. I, I, I really need something fly to wear. 
Oh, really? Like we could be matching. We're just we going to have a picnic. How right. much flyer do you need I, to I need pick? Because I, I figure I should have some new shoes because it's my birthday weekend. No, that is your gift. <laughs> the weekend. Nah, you be asking. No, you you be to. asking too much doing all that, Speedy. I will look at mm-hmm. you like this nigga mm-hmm. trying to. Trying no, she to, just um, said me. No, because I would. Motherfucker, it's my birthday. <laughs> no. I need an outfit. The you birth you can't no. you can't dictate what the gift should be. A uh, dick can't take dictate. A <laughs> uh, dick can dictate it. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, it's my birthday. So she didn't ask you what you wanted. She said, "Okay." If we do this the right way, I'd have got all that shit. You, I hate you. <laughs> yeah, in the fucking, yeah. Anyway. She's an alter it's, ego. It's, you my, know it's this. my birthday, mm-hmm. so I don't have nothing to wear. Mm. Can we go to Marshall's get off in? <laughs> Marshall's. Make, <laughs> Ma- Marshall's is hot. I'm like, you can go to <laughs> with the, the men, men's section in Rainbow shit. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Damn, that's man. extra cheap. Yeah, I don't no. even think they have. Now we got the <laughs> I don't think they even have a men's section. All their oh, jeans, them yeah. irregular jeans with the seam don't even line up. You got to iron that shit Hey, on. I love me some rainbow. Oh, I hate on rainbow shit. Yeah, that's the, I'm going to just be real with you. Mm-hmm. And, and Paul, this is probably the realest. I'm going to be that because I see you crying. I'm not crying, <laughs> sweetie. <laughs> you you. It ain't your man, bitch. <laughs> that's the only thing missing was bitch. I got what you sound like her just, mother. I'm just you speaking like from experience mm-hmm. because I was all in on a situation where mm-hmm. we weren't in a committed relationship and I had all these wrong expectations because we were not okay, in I'll a ask relationship. You, why don't we flip it the other way, Portis? You want to take this young man or whoever it is for their birthday, you want to do it big for them and they tell you, ah, I got a game. I don't know if I want to do that. Then I wouldn't invite them no more. I agree. That's his yeah, I just told you last week I invited the guy oh, yeah. I like out three times. Yeah, that nigga said, uh, I'm busy all through 2016. I'm busy, I'm busy through 2019. So he will not get another invitation yeah. from me, period. So I think you need to look at your relationship. Oh. I think y'all need to look back. You need to look at it and go. And you've been maybe, dating him a year now. Right? Over, yeah. Oh, oh over. Y'all, mm. y'all should be like, you my bitch and I'm your nigga. That's a year? Yeah. It's been a year. Oh, no. I think y'all like two months in. And oh, no, 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 no. Uh-uh. So what'd you do last year for his birthday? Nothing. I wasn't, it wasn't. It was well, very new then. Yeah, exa- exactly. But you still got it. So what'd you give him like some? No, I didn't get shit. Some rims? <laughs> no, I didn't get shit. I don't even remember last year. what did he get you for your shit. birthday? Nothing. Woo! Mm. Yeah. To be young. I'm just saying. And in love. I'm, I'm just saying. I've been there. Mm-hmm. I've been there. Mm-hmm. Well, I used to give this nigga something for his birthday every year, and he would. I've been there. Rarely like, give me. I had fifteen. Wow. I had fifteen women used to give me shit every year. I believe it, sweetie. Nigga, I'm good. I was the greatest. <laughs> sweetie, really? I was goat, nigga. The greatest what? ever. He was good. goat. <laughs> greatest ever. Greatest of all time. <laughs> I said, I eat my get down like the week before my birthday. I see how many I could hit before my birthday. Wow, really, really sweetie. Mm-hmm. And then doing that, I'll be like, yo, Wait, you- what's your record? In one day, not no through the span. What did you say? Oh, a week before your birthday. A week birthday? from her. Oh, it was a lot. It was a lot. I had them lined up. What? Wait. Well, hey, time slot. They're like, hey, 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 in the chat room. Like, it's not that he doesn't ever want to go anywhere with me. They're making it like, damn. I'm like, no, you're hey, right. Hey, hey, chat hey, room, hey. keep going. Hey, he don't want to go I nowhere agree, with you. I agree with Chuck Farber though. No, nah, I think it's something about being in public <laughs> with the 300 sandals on. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. No, Pam. it just has to be a mutual thing. I, I've learned that mm-hmm. because when the relationship is unbalanced and you guys don't have an understanding, it could be okay. cause you a lot ladies of Ladies that's listen ladies listen to the show. I'm I'm a man, keep it real with you. Mm-hmm. You my friend, so I keep mm-hmm. it real with you. I always mm-hmm. listen There's to There's certain times that guys have to say, Okay, birthdays, mm-hmm. Valentine's Day, New Year's Eve, mm-hmm. Christmas. Right. Whoever your real one is, that's who you spend with them. Absolutely. Day. So when it's her birthday or your birthday, we going to kick it. I, 86, my mama, unless my mama and them said, come on over, we're going to do something big. Mm-hmm. Then we'll just collaborate. We're going to do it. Or I say, no, nah, mom, babe, got something planned for us for the weekend. I'm going with her. Right. Uh, Valentine's Day. I agree. Whoever your, your number one is, that's who you with. Side pieces, if you don't see your man on Valentine's Day, you not number one. Okay, just but let me just say, I did so, say, let me plan something for your birthday. He said, okay. But I don't think it's like a week. I, like I said, it's not like he didn't say, nah, I don't want to do nothing with you. 
No, he said he don't want to go to he don't want to be in San Diego. Yeah, because of the the game. Are you sure he's not seeing anyone else? No, I'm not Bam! Sure about that. Boy, you the shit. Cause see, if it's my birthday, I can't look. If if I got other people, I'm just gonna be real. Mm-hmm. I, ain't in, it, I ain't in the game no more. If I got other pieces, then I have to make sure I'm central. Like I'm, like I'm like not, that's too far out in advance to be planning. No, no, you can't. When you got options, when you got no, it's not that you have options. You have other people that's gonna do shit for you on your birthday. That's and option. if you're not there, mm-hmm. if you go on with her, then they can't do nothing for you. I can't get shit from. You. But if I say I'm at the game, I got a game, and they all know I'm at the game, then they like, okay, well, he at the game, so I just bring you a gift by Saturday. Bam. Nigga, what? Nigga. Call in 323-293-3375. We want the fellas to call in. Yeah. And tell, us, tell us what that usually means. <laughs> now I might got my man card taken, but hey, I ain't in the group no more. So Hilarious. I'm married. I was no, married now. I've learned that. When a guy wants to be with you, he'll find a way. There's no they qu- there's no question in your mind. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, unless like if you like if you do the birthday thing and you say he says, No, nah, uh my family wants to do something, but you know, won't you come over? That's different. But you say you got a game, nigga, and you ain't in the league. He's in a league. No Ish. the league. <laughs> and they have their schedule, what, throughout for the whole year? Yeah. Oh yeah, you have yeah, a schedule. They have a schedule, yeah. But you still it's one it's let's make sure we get it's this right. One game. He's not getting paid, poetess. This is for activity. This is some shit I do because I think I still got a little bit left in the tank. You know why I go play ball every Tuesday with these old ass? I play ball with the oldest white boys in the world. Because I still, because I look good around you. I like Magic Johnson fucking with them. She I said, still think I got something. I didn't say you couldn't come. Whoa! This nigga's watch, <laughs> listening to the show. Hey, man, I was just joking. <laughs> no, you're not. Of course you know he's listening. I didn't say you couldn't come to the game. So See? that's Nolan Boy. <laughs> Let him mess up your mind. See, he wants you, you want to want come it. to the game. Watch, going to be like 15 <laughs> bitches in the stands with if balloons. I will You're going to have he a balloon. Knows I will ain't going to be go six other women them. with balloons going, who look at my boo run and catch that ball? <laughs> <laughs> Is he a blocker? What do he do? <laughs> He's a, what do you mean? I don't know what he does. He oh. blocks his man. I don't know what he does. Yeah, well, mm. what do you under the bus? Maybe Pam just no. She she knew he was listening. Oh, I, I, oh my bad. I, 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 as soon as I, soon as I got that text, or so no, as soon as I got that text, I was like, oh, you know, this is being discussed, right? You know, yeah, you know, you in in rotation, my brother. <laughs> okay, I have some funny, just really quick mm-hmm. off Shoot. topic. Uh, so Kente called in late, and then you know I tried to call around a few people to uh, oh, yeah. fill in. For him. <laughs> right, right. So I was trying to text yeah, Guy Tory, <laughs> and I text Guy Black. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, Guy, can you come in today and co-host with us and blah, blah, blah. Oh, hilarious. And then I got the text back and it said, Guy Black. I said, oh, shit. I got to text Guy Tori. Yeah, that's the worst. So Speedy was like, just text him back and said, okay, maybe next time. And I said, well, maybe I should text him back and be, my bad, I met Guy Tori. He said, that would have been, been mean. Yeah. <laughs> I do it. You can't do it. I do it. Oh, my God. Um. Yeah, so you ready? Yeah, I'm always you ready. You queued man. up? You queued I think I've been queued up. Why? Because the Leo youngster go, this nigga going to beat my ass when he see me. It's the rollout show. Hilarious. Call us up, 323-293-3375. If you have any relationship advice for, for me, yeah. damn. Should she call she in, Chuck, since you got all kinds. Yeah, call in. I'll see you. We'll be right back. We are back. It's the all-new rollout show right here at Morris Media. Lives where we are, and you can hit us up on speedyandfriends.net. That's speedyandfriends.net. That's where you can listen and watch to the show if you're not doing that. If you listen to the repeat, then make sure you do that the next time we on air. Go to speedyandfriends.net. That's speedy, the letter N, friends.net. And also, too, I will be in Seattle this weekend going up there for a friend of mine's uh, uh, skate party. Are you skate? Hosting? Yeah, That's I'm hosting that. the comedy show. And it's going to be off the chain along with my man, uh, Brooklyn Mike. We're going to be doing it big. I'm going to do a uh, – can we do a video later on? At the, in the, at the green, sc- green screen. Yep, we yeah, we yeah. have a green screen. I want to I wanna thank you all for – Oh, that was fun. – coming by and helping to get the green screen we room together this here. weekend. <laughs> you, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't let us leave. To, you, have, you locked the door. <laughs> and you said you lost the remote to the gate, so we couldn't – Leave, so we had to paint. Right. See how <laughs> and shout out to Youngster. Fibs. See, yeah, Larry Youngster painted her ass off. She was a painter. 
Yeah, our intern. Oh, yeah. She's going to I like her. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah we, uh, we found out she can speak. Yeah, I know. She didn't that really talk. Like we I found said, out she's a bit too much for two. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we, for sure. Yeah, some dude called. Remember the, the nigga that called? Oh, that's right. Tell stories. The nigga that called. It was like, uh, so what y'all. And we play around here. We we got yeah. jokes. You you can't do anything or say anything right that up, yeah. you don't want repeated Absolutely. or joked on yeah. around us. So yeah. she gets on they the phone, it. or anybody gets on the phone around us, especially if, you, if you're a girl and you talk to your dude. Me and Kente, I walk by and go, Hey, where's my underwear? I can't find them. <laughs> so you didn't lie and told them you. So you guys club. did that while she was on the yes. phone with her boyfriend. Yes. Whoever the dude was. They was going off. And dude was just like, so you going to call me back? You shoot. She's like, I'm going to call you back. She, All he right? didn't ask who those guys were in the background? We don't know he what might he have. Because she stepped out because yeah, she, she, she stepped, got off. Because we were still going. And Kente said, uh, how hot your water get? <laughs> <laughs> the spaghetti ain't going to stir itself. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, he was pretty upset. Who gives a fuck? <laughs> yeah. Can't well, and then her mama came. Uh, she handled it. Her Ooh. mama came and showed y'all how to paint. Yes, she did. Pretty much. Yeah, yes, came. she did. Yes, she... But I think that's her stepmom. Oh, Why wow. did you say that? Because she said that. Oh, she told me that oh okay. Oh. That's not her real mom. Oh. oh. Well, shit. Mm-hmm. They got other kids with their stepmom. Oh. oh, okay. But they're cool. They're cool as hell. They're really cool. Mm-hmm. Really good people. Um, we have a great intern. She's yeah. learning all this stuff, and her family is very involved. Yeah. They mm-hmm. come and bring her here. Because and... she can't drive. She can't drive. Mm-mm. 21 and can't drive? 22. 22 and can't drive. Mm-hmm. She's going to be at the house for a minute. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, you think? <laughs> Maybe that's why she couldn't told, make it today is because she didn't have I told my stepson, as soon as you turn 18, Pippin, you ain't got no job and you ain't going to school, deuces, kick rocks. I know that's I'm right. I'm done with you at 18. He, he a nice kid, but then he do, he, he make bad decisions. I don't know how you do that. He makes very, very bad decisions. And they stupid. Like he got, I told you he got caught at uh, Walmart. Oh, yeah, stealing candy. Oh, that right? one, yes. that one, yeah. And he okay. don't even eat candy. <laughs> <laughs> he was bored. Yeah, hang with the wrong motherfuckers, man. But hey. We all been there. Unfortunately, but apparently when you're young and said you don't learn. And shout out to your little young boyfriend, you know. <laughs> Shut up. See? This nigga think he's still gonna make it. <laughs> <laughs> like somebody from the Patriots is watching your flag. Damn, football I need to game. see a picture of him. <laughs> oh shit. Is he ugly? Uh uh-uh. uh. Is he funny looking? Nope. Pam, well, she, I was going to say, Whatever. Pam usually doesn't have ugly boyfriends, but I take that back. <laughs> right. Who's ugly? <laughs> that one. Is it, actually, he liked one of your pictures the other day I saw of Portis. Oh. I was like. Duck Bill <laughs> Grill? <laughs> Duck Bill. <laughs> yep. The Tupac one. <laughs> How you look at him like like in the face when, he, when he's hitting it? I didn't think he was that ugly to pour the sis. I don't. I I can't believe I said he was ugly because I normally don't like to use that term. <laughs> that day you did. I did. I used <laughs> like, that ooh, Pam, he was so ugly. I had a friend of mine introduce me to this girl. I said, "No, brother." Hilarious. She was a hard sell. Man, hard <laughs> motherfucker sell. Big old fluffy. I said, mm-hmm. "Nigga, I like big girls, but they they gotta be cute." The guy sprinkle cute on her or something. This, says, she got a cute sprinkle. toenail. Give me some cute. You toenail. <laughs> I need something cute. Just can't be a big ass building. What's your favorite feature on a woman's feet? Yeah. Nails and lips. Nails. Yeah, if your nails is done and you got really? big old red lips. You minus lips for sure. <laughs> yeah, everybody. Uh, everybody say yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pan, I mean, po- po- Portis. Tim lips. Um, <laughs> First thing I look at is lips. First thing. Um, eyes. Like really? Eyes. Oh, okay. Yeah, eyes. <sighs> I always trip with. See, what guys are so you guys run it so much. We, y- y'all don't even know how much y'all run. You ever see a dude to be blinking his eyes all the time? You're like, mm-hmm. why you always do that? Because some girl they told him you got some pretty eyes, and he always like, how you do? <laughs> or if they say you got some nice lips, motherfucker. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, nigga, if you don't stop doing that bullshit with me, what the fuck, the fuck is wrong with you? But because you guys run the world and you just don't know it, that's why the little youngster. Run it. He know you ain't gonna leave him. He Shut know. Up. You still going to you gonna go to that football game and you're going to be one of them women holding a balloon. <laughs> I love number 27. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> and it'll be seven other 27 balloons. Hilarious. Sitting at that stand. <laughs> but you love them. Okay, you like them. You, heart, you like them really a lot. I, I do like him a lot. He knows okay. that. Somebody in the chat room wants to know, how did you guys meet, Pam? Uh, on one of my trips. I was uh, taking one, a trip. and A sex uh, trip? 
No, nigga. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, just on a trip, and then we just started talking. I know, at we, the we, trip? You met yeah, him? yeah, he was out of town at the time, so. Mm-hmm. And you just fucked him. I didn't say that. No, I did <laughs> Damn, not. I did not, actually. You did it. That's what I can't say it. I was like, which is rare, but, you know. No, uh-uh. Not the same day? Nope. Two days later? His, his An hour later, what? I will say that. I was like. Oh, he said uh, no? Uh, yep. Uh, we got to talk. <laughs> <laughs> did he turn down the pussy? No. He, what did he tell yes, me? Yes, it's called turn down. He didn't turn it down. In other words, you said you want to fucking. I mean, it was like maybe me. the fourth ask, time. Ask me. I didn't, I didn't say Just do that. it. You want to fuck? No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. No, he. we talked about it. He said, told me that there's something called demisexual. Where you have to be totally connected to the person in order to have sex with them. Who the fuck and is that's this? That's how he is. Hold yeah. up. Who the fuck? Put him on the phone. This Are you not, sure? I've that never he's heard of that. Not. No, he's not. I, for a fact, I know that. But I'm just saying. So we, we talked about. I've it, never it, heard. I of mean, that. we did like what the is it called third or fourth time. What is it called? Demisexual. And what does that mean? D e m i sexual. I'm counting that way until you give me a few drinks. No. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of people can't do that. I don't have a connection yet. Two right. more martinis, please. <laughs> right. I'm connected. No, a lot of people are like No, that. they're not. Yes, they are, no, the, sweetie. Where's yes. the chat room? Pull the shit up. You mad now. You didn't flip the shit down because they're telling you the real. <laughs> no, I've well, never heard no dude say no, I need to be spider. demisexual. What's it called? Demisex? Demisexual. Hold on, hold on, hold on. What? Meaning that you have to be emotionally in tune with the person in order to have sex. With Absolutely. Them. Get the I find fuck that with here. most women. It's strange. Yeah, not no dude. Men. Pam. I, guys, I know guys like that too. Yeah, that's what I would have said too. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard of that word. I've never. I got a billion homies, and if so, a girl, Speedy, are you saying you bone? I think the several Kente's, women that you've never uh, talked to again like, had feelings for none. The I best think Kente's ones. Men are like good that. At doing Those that. are the best ones because I can get dressed. You think Kente's like? That? I do. I think that he he. Um, uh, I think he's. Uh, I don't think so. If he boned this, nah. if he boned that chick last week, no. Nah, but think he, but he met her weeks before that. You know, yeah, so, you but, know, he had to but, talk to her. But he didn't want. He remember he only got his head. Well, damn, we put a nigga business. Well, fuck it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you're yeah, yeah, fucking. Yeah, 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 let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> I just never heard it. I, I got a billion friends. I got a lot of guy friends. And if only if she funny looking or you like nigga hell no or she but stinks or she stinks hilarious. but the average brother that's go out you meet somebody and if it was a possibility I could hit that day and I said nah I'm into demisex or <laughs> demisexual I'm demisexual no, he just said then that girl would have been like you gay no I'm not bitch I just don't want to fuck you right now we don't have no connection did you drink I need to drink something. <laughs> they said, Speedy, you said Jimmy sexual. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy sex. I don't know what the fuck it is. No I never, Lord. I never would have told. Only if she's funny looking, or like you said, poor does she smell, or, or, if, or if a girl walk up to me and go, "Damn, you fine." No, bitch. Because nah. mm, I ain't I don't fine. No, Pam. I'm I, right. I would keep my eyes open on that one. <laughs> and your butt closed. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Speedy. <laughs> I don't know. He seems yeah. uh... buttery. Sugary. And poke his nose. See no real niggas. Sugary. I don't know no real niggas say I can't okay. fuck unless I, I there's only connection. Only very few men on this planet. Very few. That I would not put that past. Yeah. I mean that I wouldn't put that past. Really? The average guy you take ten dudes, mm-hmm. nine of them gonna say, I'd have hit that. They'd have hit you. I just say he we never said. did. And that one would might be a little <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Pam, I like your hair and stuff. <laughs> no, I got a football game. I can't go to the San Diego. <laughs> <laughs> I have demisex on Sundays. Mm. Yeah, let's get to this news. Cause, uh, Pam, uh, here's I a suggest tissue. you here's leave tissue. your dating options open. Yeah, <laughs> no. I need another yes. birthday date. I yes, got a if, I got, you, this if you're the, not in a committed a, relationship, you better leave your options open. I got a homie open. for you. I got somebody for you. Oh, who's that, Speedy? I got somebody for I who? don't know if I trust that what either. What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, he, hey, he gonna try to fuck that day. How about that? As soon as I introduce you, he's gonna I'm try to I'm telling you, what Pam needs is an older man. She they don't need like a grown me. man. No, they you don't, don't like know me. they like you because you ain't gave a brother a chance. I, I don't or do you like them? Do no, you like no. older I, men? As soon as she see gray hair, I'm cool. 
No, not necessarily. I like salt and pepper. I, you, yeah, we know you. We know you do. You pull. like the whole salt <laughs> and a little pepper. Right. <laughs> Shout out to Dish. <laughs> <laughs> He's a nice looking man. Those, uh, I thought, yeah, I thought yeah. he was going Dish with Queens. I thought he was going with Queens. Okay, I'm moving on. <laughs> You were saying? He said. Whoa, this nigga wrote a biography. <laughs> right. Oh, no. You, you a dude that write. Te- I don't type. Nigga, please. I so, sweetie, because you can't spell. Shit. Okay. He said, I wanted to know more about you before sticking my dick in you. That means I'm invested in you. No. No. No, I, just, I get that. Too. He won't go to the fucking birthday thing because he got that. a game. Some guys respect you women enough worst. to wait. You are the worst. A minute ago, you said, no. Nah. No, he said. She I didn't say oh, it was like day three that we fucked. No, I'm saying this. Damn, okay, I'm there's done. some women that men want to wait for, and there there's some women that men just want to do it to on the first day. Mm-hmm. Really, really, mm-hmm. yeah. And maybe he doesn't. You really feel, believe that? Yes, yes. You Speedy, need not to everybody that. is a you hoe. Need, no, I don't need to believe yes, you anything. Do. I've, women I've need to believe. That. I'm listen, yeah. I'm gonna be real with you, brother. In the chat room, y'all can hate me if you want to. Niggas trying to fuck. I've had men that say. That. I've heard men say. Don't believe that they lie to you. You want to hit a real? They'll hit, but sometimes they wish the girl they like would have waited no. for them to hit. They lied. Yeah, I agree. I've heard that too, I, Cordis. I, I, I don't believe. Too women too only believe in, well, we should wait. No, I'm not going to wait. Yeah, I'm going to wait, oh, but I'm not waiting. Okay, I'm, gonna wait. I'm not going to wait on you. I'm going okay. to fuck somebody Hilarious else Aaron. while I'm waiting on you. Let How about that? Back. Where's the damn thing at? Um, So, Speedy, so you're saying to me, you love Michelle, correct? Yeah. God damn it. <laughs> Let me just say Is this. Is that a trick question? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saying, okay, so say you didn't meet her under the circumstances you did. You met her. You're like, oh, this is kind of wifey material. No, and I didn't think that. To... Not at first, he didn't. No, well, never, I know he didn't think, think that. that I know that. Nobody but... thinks. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> <laughs> just saying. <laughs> no, but I'm saying. No one meets someone and goes, this is wifey. We meet. You 32. I'm not meeting a woman going, eh, I'm going to wait because this might be. No. At 32, I was fucking. I'm just be real. Well, I was getting it in, nigga. I had I had a rotation. What if she wanted to world. wait? What if she wanted to wait? Then I would have said I'd have played the role, been like, okay, baby, we can wait. But you would have hit something else. But I've been hitting other shit. I know. Okay. Come on, man. I mean, we know you. Stay do. focused. What the fuck, man? Y'all motherfuckers gotta wake up. Okay, this call from here on now, we're gonna we gotta have a show with women, you gotta wake the fuck up. Pam Pam and, and uh the little lady in the booth, wake the fuck up. Dudes is dudes. It's only a few of us who are like that. Don't get me wrong. There are guys like that. There's guys go, nah, I don't want to rush. I think you're really cool. Right. Whatever, whatever. I want to get to know you. I want to get to know you. Mm-hmm. That's fine. Mm-hmm. Not saying he not that dude. But if, y'all, if you thought he could have fucked that day and he said no, fuck out of here. Because what's I two think, days late? What does two days do? What, uh, tell me what three days do. We late. need some guys to call yeah, up. Yeah, where are with the callers? Different opinions is than you. Niggas don't know shit. Three two three two nine three 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 seven five. Call us up. I know y'all listening. We got about a hundred people with a chat room. Right. So. <laughs> they, right. They call in. Let, let us know. Them. I mean, are are there some guys out there that uh, would prefer for a girl that they like to wait? I said there is, but that it's a very minute amount of brothers. Mm. If you lined up ten dudes and Pam met all ten, nine of them we trying to hit when she when they met Pam. One dude be like, oh, no, I can't do it now. I got to do my mom's hair, so I'll call you tomorrow. Because what's three? You tell. All right, tell me what three days does. Was we three days talking on the phone? Are we on a cruise? What are we doing well, between those three days me, where I had to? I wanted to wait. For me, I like to see who I'm getting involved with. You're a girl. With. Because niggas could be crazy, they yep. could be yeah, gay, exactly. they could be. God damn! So get, how the gay get second? Because <laughs> it's a lot out there. Are you a crazy it's head? A lot out there. <laughs> so I, I prefer to know a little more about the person. Now we say no more. You mean go out on more dates? Go out on more dates. Just have talk more. Now how many more dates did you go Google, out on? Google, investigate them. No, don't do that on me. It'll be bad for <laughs> do you got hey, Pam? Do you ever Google guys you've dated? Uh huh. Here come a call. Finally, <laughs> okay. yes, I do. Yes, I do. And who did and what'd you find out? Um well one time I did it for one of my friends. We found out he had eighteen counts against him. Of what? Of like all kinds of shit. Like we were like, oh shit. And she stayed with him. Yep. Mm-hmm. See, that don't mean shit, fellas. Go ahead, do your thing, nigga. Fuck it. We're just gonna get it and who cares? Uh call it again. What's the number? Shit. We got a call. Oh. Call it, what's your name and where you calling from? Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Ron from DC. Hey, Ron. Ron from DC. How you living, man? Tell, you finna kick the real or you gonna tell the bullshit? No, I'm gonna kick the real, man. Kick I the mean, real. 
us men, I would have to say, yeah, we're de- speedy is right. Sometimes we are down to, you know, to do whatever. To, to get, to get, but sometimes. Speak up a little bit. Now, do you have something turned up or just a little bit or speak into the phone? Okay. Can you hear me now? There we go. Okay. So, then, yeah, speedy's right. I ain't going to lie. We are down to, get to you know, get, get the foot to here from time to time. But there are times that a man walk into a room, see a woman across the room and be like, you know what? That's the woman that falls married. Mm-hmm. That's the woman that's for me. You know, it all depends on a certain woman. Certain women bring that out of certain men. Mm-hmm. Some I men, agree. Some men can fuck every bitch in them, every bitch they can get their hands or come across, but they can come across that one woman that can make you be like, you know what? That's the woman that's going to be like, the, the bear of my kids. That's going to be the woman that I'm going to be with for the rest of my life. So, it depends on the, the woman that you're dealing with, that you, that you, that so you see. I, that's it right there. You basically said it in a, I totally agree with him because you meet that woman and so you say, this time I'm going to try and do it differently. Yeah, but the thing uh, I'm saying, though, that's over time. Like, if I meet somebody at a club and I can see she has, okay, this is a very intelligent woman, mm-hmm. and I call her the next day, we go hang out that weekend, and then I go, oh, this this is a nice piece here. I'm going to take this one a little slower, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. But it, yeah, yeah, true, true. But, but if the opportunity came up and you met her that night and you could hit that night, she could still be the one. I just hit that. I just hit her before I got a chance to do all the other shit. Yeah, yeah, that's true. That's true, Speedy. But yeah, like I said, it's all deal with circumstances, and and also, like I said, it deals with that woman. No, not to put my brother on blast and everything. Mm-hmm. But my brother used to hit pillar the post. My man used to hit <laughs> everything that came to his that came across his way. Mm-hmm. But then when his then when he met his wife and she she had his child, it was like his first son, their first son together. You know, that's kind of rare nowadays. So yeah, somebody has to. Yeah. Out that one person, yeah, mm-hmm. and he just it just pretty much it settled him down. He became, uh, I mean, I see my brother in a whole different light nowadays that he's married and has a son, and you know, with his wife and everything. So, it I think it's depending on the circumstances that you come across, and also dealing with the, in the type of female that you in the, in the woman that you come across with. So. All right, let me ask you this: when the part two of that, I don't know if you heard the beginning part. She invited him somewhere for his birthday. He's kind of turning it down. Because he got a flag football game that day. I don't know what's wrong with that nigga. <laughs> See what I tell you? A fucking flag football game, nigga. That ain't no real shit. Unless it's Super Bowl, unless yes. it's Super Bowl, and I've never experienced a Super Bowl. Or to me, I'm a wrestling fan, so if it's like WrestleMania or any football or the NBA Finals of my of my of my of the Lakers playing in the NBA Finals, and I get tickets and. There's a run at time that I could see him making those type of choices, but mm-hmm. even I would make that choice. Flat. Flat. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the phone call. Thank you. Get <laughs> going. Thank you, brother. See, I know, motherfucker. Come on, man. Yeah, we got some. I, women. Ha- I hate being so real, Pam. Mm-hmm. I love you. No, I'm, I'm and, cool. And, I am and cool. Portis pretty much. Threw you under the bus and said, "Fuck your dreams." No, she didn't. No, she didn't. I, I no, know exactly. I'm, what I'm, I'm just speaking real. through experience because I went through it mm-hmm. with dishes for a Flag long time. Flag football game? No. Uh, Super Bowl? I, baby, if I, that's my hell, birthday it day, finals. if that's my birthday, mm-hmm. you go. Baby, please understand this is the Super Bowl. Even As though well. technology has fucked it up for everybody, you can record the game. What what you could do? You record the game and say, "Baby, you play it off." I'm not even going to watch no TV today. I'm just going to be about me and you. Because mm-hmm. you go, I ain't listening to see who won until I get home and I can watch the game. But no flag football game. You got my brother, I mean, if you're listening, which you, apparently you are because you keep writing these fucking <laughs> novels. Just uh, love is kind of being hard. Just you call in. You being kind of hard on say? your girl. What do you say? You know, like, I don't know if that's a guy or a girl, but basically she said, first she said I they was said. gullible. Then she said... Uh, he doesn't want to spend his birthday with me. You, and you, do you really think he's thinking long term? Okay. Nope. Well, damn. Nope. Because birthday. Uh, Miss Lucky's in the chat room and oh. she says. What'd she say? Men will promise you everything until they get in your pants. Because they're trying the to get in your pants. Feety? Yes. Right. She's right. She's right. <laughs> if I haven't gotten into it yet. We the most charming motherfuckers when you meet us. Hey, baby. How yeah, you, y'all got game. for you. I love you. And then you hit. Now, don't get me wrong. I have to hit. Because I need to know if you can't fuck. I would hate to date somebody and find out later on they couldn't fuck. Mm-hmm. That would, or they don't get no head. And I'd be like, bitch, this ain't going to work. My friend, my, my cousin married somebody that uh, don't eat the coochie. Oh. Uh, fuck that. He must got a long paper. Mm. Got to have something to substitute that. Right, Portis? <laughs> what? <laughs> it is now time for. 
The Poetess Report. <laughs> Get in there, Poetess. No pun intended. Um, there was a story in the paper or on, online about a guy who was given a ticket basic, basically because he established eye contact with the cop. Oh, yeah. 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 We used to call it one time. They yeah. like you driving and you look at them, they look at you, they bust a U turn. It's one time. They look at you one time, make a U turn. That's yeah, that that that's right. So why why? That's not right. That's why guys, we never look at the police. Or you wave, you're like, hey, keep looking just like, keep man, you look yeah. like the motherfuckers don't exist. Look at them out of your peripheral. <laughs> right. You acknowledge where they are, how they five cars back, I'm making a left. Even if it say one way, make a left on that street and pull over and park. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that, that has happened. That that that's why we call it, here in L.A. We called them one time because they look at you one time. Because <laughs> you'll look, they'll be on the other side. You look at them, they look at you. Y'all look forward, and then you look in the rear view. Nigga, they bust a bitch. Mm. Yep. Here they come. Here they Fuck. come. Mm-hmm. Well, they say Don't you take a your hat police off. officer in Dayton, Ohio, oh yeah, Dayton. Um, a lot handed of black John Felton a warning for a traffic signal violation. Felton asked whether he was stopped for something other than the out-of-state plates. I don't even see how they stop you for out-of-state plates. I know, right? Well, okay, let's do it this way. Do you know, what's my man that killed everybody? Uh, Start with a B. Bundy? Bundy. Bundy was caught because he had a broken taillight. Mm -hmm. That's how he got caught. Mm -hmm. So if you take that, just take that into consideration. He got caught for a broken taillight. He got pulled over. So when when the police take that into consideration, so a broken tail light, out of place tags, uh, or a license plate, uh, all that kind of stuff plays into. You never know. This could be whatever, whatever. So if you have out of plate, out of state, out of state uh, t- uh, p- license plates, I could pull you over for that. Cause why are you here? Why you ain't got your? It's, it's, why you ain't got? Why you? Hey. I don't know. It's supposed to That's be part of a get down. free country. But yeah. Okay. Hey, be but to... but because of that happening and all the other things that happen, there's probably other things that happen be, due to a traffic stop. Well, he says that uh, he asked the guy, "Was there something other than than that that you stopped me for?" And in the story, it says because he failed to signal a hundred feet before mm-hmm. turning. Mm-hmm. Um, but he asked the cop, and the, go- the cop said, because you made direct eye contact with me and held on to it as I was passing you. Hilarious. I wish a motherfucker would. Yeah. That's what, what? it looked like. So he looked, they basically eyed each other down. Now, who's, who oh, gave like, this report? He did? He, he posted the, this? The, the guy, guy who got the ticket. Po- they didn't arrest him. He, he, he got a ticket. This. But he He's, posted this. What yeah, happened? he actually videotaped the whole situation and oh, said wow. that okay. he has it on tape with the cops saying, basically, because you yeah. eyed me. me down. Yeah. Direct never eye the contact. I never look at the police wow. for that reason. I never look because my eyes be red. <laughs> <laughs> Most brothers know we, we take your hat off, you turn the music down, and if you got tenant windows, better roll the motherfuckers down. Mm-hmm. Because do you know in California you get pulled over not having a front license plate? Mm. It's like those kind of things you have to know. Uh, you're supposed to signal every time you get over into a lane. You can get pulled over for not. That's why supposedly your girl got pulled over because she didn't signal to get to get into the next lane. And it's it's like it's in the book that that's you have so to do that. But everybody doesn't signal to get over. But if they wanted to pull you over and that's, we need a reason, they're the police. They need a reason. Mm-hmm. The reason is, uh, or if you, you know if you have something hanging from your, um, your uh, rear view mirror yeah, in I California, my... you will get a ticket. Absolutely, yeah, that's Even true. if it's your fucking graduation Teddy. shit. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Even as a teddy bear, or in mm-hmm. the case of your boyfriend, his flags. <laughs> <laughs> hanging, from your, hanging from your shit. Yeah, you can't. They can pull you over. Mm-hmm. But, so don't, don't hang shit on your shit. Don't tint the front, your side windows, and have a front license plate. You're good. Wow. Moving okay. Trying to help you niggas out. Um, and don't stare. <laughs> some of you may remember, what is his name? Fleece Johnson? Yes. No, Everybody who, who knows that? Fleece. A.K.A. the Booty Warrior. Hilarious. <laughs> Never heard of him. Many, many years ago, he did a shocking and revealing interview on MSNBC about how he loves booty. They even mm-hmm. did something on him with the boondocks. They, um, we've seen comedy skits about this guy. So he's saying he's fucking people in jail. Oh, yeah. He says that you know booty is more important than food and water to him. You know that you get a charge for that in jail. Oh, 
I guess he don't care. But anyway, <laughs> he's scheduled to get out mm. of the <laughs> this booty. month. Wow. Get out the booty. In September, he is finally scheduled near my birthday to get out. That's a bitch. <laughs> he gonna be looking for your booty. <laughs> no, <laughs> the booty bandit getting out. The booty warrior is getting out. Oh no! What was he really? in jail for? Oh, he gonna be. Mm-mm. Um, I don't know, but he's been in jail Forever. so long that he may just end up right back in there. He might yeah, be yeah, because he gonna yeah, use yeah, the fucking because he probably something. gonna rape somebody. Why? Wow! Absolutely. Yeah, he, <laughs> he was like he, on the video of this uh, that uh, from the MSNBC uh, interview. He says when dudes come in there and he like them, he said you could either do it the hard way. <laughs> Or the other one way or the other gonna be hard, but look here. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Didn't he say something about if you come in sagging? Yeah, and he also said that Ain't when you bitch. sag, that looks sexy to them in jail. That lets them know that you are Ooh. willing to get uh, busted. We back. always hear that, but booty bandits said booty warrior said it. I don't so. understand when I see these brothers and they sag below the A. I'm like, nigga, really. My son, my son tried, nigga, I slapped shit out there. Yeah, that's what father should do. Tell up. your sons to pull up Fuck your pants. My nephew, they ain't yeah. let none of them up. Like, nigga, if you don't put that shit around never, your waist. I just never think that that's, I'm older, but I, I see how these young girls, they like that. Well, and I, so do the guys in prison. <laughs> 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 yeah, it's an open invitation right there. That's how it all starts. Yeah, but he was off the chain. But the anyway, I read bandit. that he is getting out on parole um, next month, September. Wow. So, now I wonder. He's a reality show. I, I, but I wonder if because he's done those kind of things in jail, is he And like, very vocal. Well, I'm saying it, when you get out, is he on a, what is it called when you're on the. Um, uh, probation? No, on your list for. Uh, um, oh, sexual. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, Wouldn't yeah. Wouldn't he be on that oh. list? Uh, Unless he's in jail for that offense. No, he's saying he's he's doing that in jail. And, and he, it's so many videos of him. Yeah, so why would him. you not, if you're his parole officer, have him on. The, yeah, that list. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't know. Unless he might. Be. I don't know what his original crime is. Yeah, that would. And know that. if he hasn't been, um, you know, punished for that, then he I don't said know that he's they fucking would. Niggas in I jail. know, but did they get him for that? He said he's going to. So fuck he him. said it, but did they charge him for that? Wait by the cell till you hear some moaning. Mm. That's him. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? Yeah. Shut up! You had your pants down, nigga. Yeah, so beware. Pull your pants up. Yeah, yeah, pull your pants up. Wow. Booty bandits home. Wow. <laughs> um, a wow. couple. It wasn't. It wasn't Pam and her boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> you ain't right. Police in Connecticut have charged two people. They say broke into a boat at a marina to enjoy a fast food meal, <laughs> while the <Fuck> owners <laughs> were in the boat asleep. Oh, oh, shit. shit. So That's a big boat. It's 2 a.m. Why are you on somebody's boat That's a big at 2 a.m.? That's a big boat. Yeah. Yeah. A, if, well, if they could be down. Uh, yeah, it could, but it's it still a big did. boat if, if they're on the boat sleep because you don't sleep on the blue. Well, it was they a family do. of five, so maybe. It oh, was yeah. A That's big a big boat. boat. It's probably yeah, a yacht. huge boat. Yeah. Yeah. And so, anyway, a couple got on the boat <laughs> with their McDonald's. fast food. Exactly. <laughs> and took selfies. <laughs> they was trying to look Whoa. like they were living large. Hilarious. Somebody went, who down there? No, they said the flash from the camera woke up one of the people in the in the family, and they called police. Um, Florida. So, Let me guess, Florida? Uh, Connecticut. Close. Oh, uh, right. He's <laughs> close. Um, so wow. they escaped, and uh, with the they said the police came, and the fast food sitting on the table was still warm. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. So they're facing charges including breach of peace and criminal trespass. That's not bad. Yeah, they didn't do anything really. Uh, but trespass. Yeah, they were just flossing. So they were yeah, flossing. Yeah. Yeah. Is there, is yeah, there yeah, a log is yeah. flossing with Bitch, we eating shit. burgers on a boat. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> Who? Well, you had to be real. You, some got to be going off. You go, let's go get on the boat and eat. Which yeah, boat? exactly. Some fast That's food. Big motherfucker over there. And if it's 2 o'clock in the morning, ain't much open. It's just and in the box. And you can't see. You can't see that you're on but a But you know something? That's hmm. a ride or die. I like a, see, I like a woman to ride. Like we, it's down for whatever. Nigga, let's make it happen. We get in trouble. We're going to be both of you smiling and taking our pictures. Yeah, nigga, we did it. That's ride or die. Mm. Now, motherfucker say he got a flag football game. Fuck that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> ain't no ride or die, nigga. <laughs> 
Ride or die for your girl. Nigga, she got you for your birthday. Nigga, fuck that game. Mm, okay. You should have said, how about I pay you some money? Come to your birthday. What? What? That's what you're saying anyway. You might as well just say it. I'm going to give you some money. Come to your birthday. No. <laughs> no. Pam, no. you bet not. I know. That's, you're doing too much. That's no. exactly right. Nah. Um, so did anybody watch the uh, MTV Video Awards last night? No. Pieces. I saw the little piece and I thought it was just What I saw. Very contrived. No, I thought it was the, like, yeah. the thing with uh, Nicki with Minaj. Nicki, I thought that was, that was a joke, right? No. I mean. They're I, saying it's hard to tell because she smiled during that whole interaction. That's what so. I thought. Well, yeah. th- let me. The background on that is apparently um, Nikki was upset because she wasn't up for, I guess, the video of the year, and well, she got and, and like Taylor Swift was and Miley was and whatever. So she was saying Anaconda should have been up there, and so I guess Taylor Swift went to Twitter and said some stuff, and then she apologized right. and apologized, and then now I guess Miley had a. Um, was in it so you know I, I don't know if that was real or not but they're saying that it was <laughs> but Miley, they said, why is her voice she got a woman ass voice mm-hmm. what did she say she just has a very deep mature voice for a young I, was, I met her dad her dad was super cool yeah he was on there they did like a little skit on oh yeah last night yeah he's super cool but um miley is off the chain she was just like whatever yeah, okay, I saw that part. Outfits. And she kept going, yeah, whatever. Like, And then she like she just went on with the show, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I saw that Yeah, part. so I don't know if it was real or not, because Nikki kind of smiled in between that. How come that. Nikki's ass is so big? I don't know. I think it's How much silicone Because they have seen pictures of the, compared to the old days, and it wasn't that big. Her ass it is was flat. It just looked. Uh-huh, her and when they uh, When they took the camera and they show. went behind her. I don't know why. Yeah, I, know I why. saw with the gold dress yes, on. Yes, I know why they yeah, went behind her because yeah. somebody said, if you don't move that camera to the back. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I said, whoa, that's a lot of ass. Yeah, her and K. Michelle. See, one thing people know, real niggas know, ass don't protrude back. Like that. Not just shoot and li- back. It's hot. Now, <laughs> it just don't shoot back. It don't back. just shoot back like that. It's now, just... ass kind of gold. It's, you got to have the ass from the Parliament album or from the Funkadelic. That's ass mm. where it's like that teardrop. And then just two teardrops, and it's a big old. That's a real ass. Mm. Nikki's, mm. I hit. But I'd be. And like, you know what's funny is Iggy's ass looks more real than. But Nikki that's Minaj's fake too. Ass. Yeah, that's fake. Yeah. Ass. Ig- oh, Iggy, the Iggy. white girl. Oh yeah, the one that she bought her man a six foot Impala. <laughs> yeah. See, maybe you should do that. What she did? <laughs> did she win anything last night? No. I didn't even all, see her at all. All her shit happened last year. She won. Remember, she was and plus best she's rapper not and very, all that shit. She's, she's not very won. friend. Like she's not because uh, she know who she is. Mm-hmm. People that know who they are, they, and they know I'm in this game because I'm a white girl that can rap like a sister, and motherfuckers is rolling with me because I can do that. She know exactly who she is, so she doesn't have to play the game. Mm-hmm. She don't have to be all nice to nobody. She has to play the game. She does, but she don't have to be nice to nobody. Everybody so in business in this business has to play the game, and once you're aware of what the game is and know how to play. it, because this this business has destroyed a lot of yeah. people, yeah. like mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. they think it's one thing before they get in it, and once they're in it, they realize that this shit is shout out to O'Brien, fucking shit. <laughs> <laughs> shit this nigga still hasn't recovered. Man, he is fuck. That was the most awkward interview, especially for me. I, like, I don't know. Uh, that was, I think, the all-time worst interview we've had. Be- yeah. With Reach Around Radio and, <laughs> and Roll everybody. Out Goodbye. Fox, oh, yeah, all that shit. You put all, <laughs> that nigga, whoa. I said, uh, let's get to some other shit. Hey, if Jay Anthony wasn't here. Thank God for Jay Anthony. Ooh, <laughs> We're going to have Jay Anthony back. because But I'm just really saying, this- if he wasn't here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it'd have been high, kind of hard. Because Jay was like, "Yo, yeah. how long y'all been doing this? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck this interview!" That yeah. Yeah. Work. And, he, and it's funny that he knew that during the interview, like this is going downhill real quick. Yeah, but, but like I said, the music business is no joke. I, I think for someone like Iggy, they know their worth. She knows her. She a white girl that rapped like a sister mm-hmm. and got, got paid. Got I just think money. she's short lived, especially because she has not shown the respect for the culture like Macklemore. I really I yeah. appreciated he that he brought out Kumo D, Grandmaster Kaz, and Melly mm-hmm. Mel last night. He 
he gives more props to the old school than a lot of these. Now, has he released black anything else do. besides the? They had, he he's probably has several hits out, but I don't follow him. He has so something last night. Right right. I wonder why the fuck this shit ring. How you get through the ringer? Mm. Got a ringtone on this moment. But <laughs> Macklemore came out. I I appreciated his set last night. He had all the old school, uh, you know. Pioneers. Yeah, because he's not. He ain't what it was when he first got the first one. Huh? Mm-hmm. Remember he had he got the first one the real award for best rapper of the year. Yes, and then even oh, when he, he and even when he got that, he said I don't deserve this. Mm-hmm. Such and such should have got it. Mm-hmm. I mean, he he gave, then he, he should have gave it to him. That's what he should have. He was like, well, it's not. He should have said I'll give it to you because what's he gonna do to you? Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think in those situations like that, it. no, in those situations like that, he'd have been the bigger man to say, I know I ain't the rapper of the year. Uh, uh, and I would think Kendrick, it was Kendrick Lamar, yeah. right. take Kendrick that, and I'm going to go on and go sit down. Because he wasn't. You came up with a bullshit ass song, mm-hmm. which was a funny song. It's a parody. It's not a parody, but it's a. Like uh, 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 what's the white boy used to always do the parodies? Of everybody's it, song, uh, uh, Weird Al. Yeah, yeah, it's like that kind of song, yeah. and, and I think rap yeah. needs that. You need somebody to come in and have a little fun with it, but you don't make this nigga the rapper the, fucking yeah. year. Right. Fuck out of here! I know better than that. That's I know. Was like, I know you used to slap in your face. Mm, I I I don't care about them awards, and I don't think that we should care about them either, because it's never in our favor. Yeah, yeah, it's never. There's a lot of people in this industry. Like, I don't think Snoop has ever won a Grammy. Why not? No. Mm. You you know? And, so. and I just think that it's, they have the wrong people. Like, if you pick Macklemore and you picked Izzy, then you don't know nothing about rap. Well, let me it, tell you all this. Working for many award shows, what happens is you you the, when they put into the categories, you, they check and the, see the who, what the categories. Oh, I thought you said categories. So you, oh, you did. Oh, I did. Oh, my bad. Um, they 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 check San to Diego see who's available. Shut up. <laughs> who um, they check to see who's available, who's going to be there. And it, you're right. It is very much so rigged. Now, mm, it, the the one like the video of the year. Yeah, they they might vote on it, but they want to make sure that person is in the audience also. And and, and I think the same would, would be T. Back in the day when you couldn't get those black performers to do the shows, they would always do all the other white shows. So you have to give them certain awards and go, we giving you this, can you please be here? Oh, absolutely. And then I believe that. Absolutely. So. I know Prince knew he was going to get his award at the, what was it, the Academy Awards? Mm-hmm. He wouldn't have showed up if he knew, because Wendy's father was running the shit, so he knew he was getting Kanye kind of spoke on that uh, recently about how why he doesn't understand the awards process. Why would you invite mm-hmm. somebody if they're going to lose? Okay. So I have that look on their face. <laughs> <laughs> Good camera Priceless. shots. Yeah, exactly. Well, speaking of Kanye, uh, he announced that he <laughs> is running for president in 2020. Which... Is, is he these nuts? <laughs> no, 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 no. Who is he, these nuts? I need to know. I don't know who that is. I need that shirt, Do you too. know, Portis? I don't know. You know, you seen Jay hat on That's his. I gotta get a shirt. Yeah, uh-huh. these, these nuts for okay. president. Yeah, I'm gonna buy a shirt for all of us. Um, so Kanye nuts. said that he's running for president in 2020 during his acceptance speech. 2020. Mm-hmm. I guess that's not here, this nigga? presidential yeah, candidate. You gonna be here? Nigga? That's I know, only like, five years away. Nigga, 2020 sound like Buck Rogers. <laughs> it does. Five 2020? years away. Five years away. Damn, 2020. Okay, so who would you vote for, Donald Trump or Kanye? Kanye. I wouldn't vote for neither one. <laughs> neither one. Because uh, Trump... I think Kanye is ticky ticky boom. I really do. <laughs> ticky ticky. <laughs> this is why I love Trump. Because he's going to make sure none of these other Republicans even get through the, the venting part of this. And Trump is going to be the person who the Democrats have to go against. And it's going to be an easy win. Easy fucking win. Mm-hmm. Trump is not going to. not. A, said there's... she would have voted for. She said if it wasn't for Kanye running. Which, no, she said, what did she say? She said, she, I would vote for. I was going to vote for Donald Trump. But. Now that Kanye is running, I'm voting for Kanye. I'm like, mm. who said that? Miley. She said that last night. Mm. Here's the thing. Y'all. I can't believe that Donald is making it this far. But yeah. either. But actually in Iowa, um, he's tied with Ben Carson now. Mm-hmm. Ben but, Carson. Now, is I'm a, I'll keep this real. Instead. Ben Carson's a very intelligent black man. If he wasn't a Republican and he was Democrat, he'd had action. He'd yeah, had he action. used to be a neurosurgeon. Yeah, he because he has he running. understands he he understands situations. His problem is he has no way of knowing how to run a country. Mm. That's the part he doesn't mm-hmm. know. Neither and, does Donald. No, but Donald could hire motherfuckers to 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 because that's what he's been doing all his life. You, he ain't know how to run half that shit. He's hired the right motherfuckers. Um, I just I just think Ben Carson is on fire. 
he he really is on fire. If he, you if saw he, him during the debate. Yes, right? I, I, I watch all that shit. I watch all that shit. And, and Speedy trying to have some political knowledge. He always does. That's yeah, one thing I'm, you do. I'm up, have. I'm up on that shit just in case. I go vote all that shit. Even I got and don't believe the shit if you have a felony, you can vote, motherfucker. You just gotta let the motherfuckers know you you ain't robbed nobody in two weeks. Mm. <laughs> you can still vote. Well, they say they have a combined zero years of experience in elective office, but Donald Trump and Ben Carson are now way out in front in the critical early voting state of Iowa according to a poll that came out today. Um, and Iowa's very important. They wow. say likely Iowa GOP caucus goers found that the billionaire real estate developer, Trump, and retired pediatric neurosurgeon with um, 23% support. Yeah, because uh, he, he was saying the right things. I, out of all the other ones, everybody, Bush, oh, my God. This mother, you, he bought his little Mexican wife on stage. She was little. It'd be fire too. <laughs> Was she? Oh my God. I know his family must be like, what in the fuck? He got the smallest. It's like she just came out the field. <laughs> Damn. 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 Like she bought about nine oranges and Hilarious. seven grapes. Hilarious. <laughs> she was tiny and she didn't like, you thinking, okay, you the bush, you found your Latino, that like she'd be one of them, like the titties uh-huh. that almost look white, but she like little hot mama, little chicha, whatever that shit is. No, he got a little chicha. dumpy. He got a little dumpy Mexican. Mm. Latino. He speaks fluent Spanish. Too. You better, <laughs> motherfucker. You got uh, you got mo- uh, senorita running around your house cleaning all my fucking day. <laughs> also, I heard that um, going back a little bit to the MTV Awards, Please. that uh, Justin Bieber broke down and cried. Mm-hmm. Uh, your name is Bieber. I don't yeah. think we're pronouncing it right. It's, it's Bieber. 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 Mm-hmm. Yeah, your name is Bieber. Mm-hmm. It seems like. Uh, he's this year. He's been kind of humbling himself mm-hmm. a little bit, especially the roast. I found the that at the, the end thing. of the roast, he was talking about how he's trying to work out to be a better person. So I think because mm-hmm. he, he's getting older, and maybe somebody around him went, "Motherfucker, look, you you just you just don't want to end up like Vanilla Ice, do yeah. you? I mean, but he making money. But uh, <laughs> I think he was just doing. He was trying to be black, and I just I know that's the fucked up thing to say. But think about all the people around him was these little young niggas. Yeah, he hangs young. out with May- Mayweather. Yeah. yeah. So you're trying to, and you want to be seen. You just don't want to be the dude hanging out with Mayweather. Mm-hmm. So how do you be seen? You got to do something stupid at your house. You got to have a wild-ass party, and somebody tell you to shut the shit down, and you go, fuck you, and you ain't going to do shit. And your name is Justin Bieber. Yeah, he did. I, th- I agree with you, POTUS. I think that he's definitely trying to grow up a little bit and which happens i mean everybody miley went through a wild period and well she still kind of is but i mean not as bad as say like Lindsay lohan who still won't grow up or whoever else it is these yeah. you know these kids of privilege very much so of privilege who get it all all at one time and then now mm-hmm. they have to face what life is really about which is uh motherfuckers let's straighten up like i hate and i'll double back on the presidential thing and they brought up something why do i have to be politically correct because you're supposed to, because it's there's right to be that way. Mm-hmm. There's a there's a set of people in this world, in this United States, that feel like I should be able to say the word nigga. No, you shouldn't. No, you should not. You shouldn't call nobody a Mexican or a wetback. Uh, you could call him a Mexican. I'm sorry, a wetback <laughs> or boat boat or cruiser. Or the F word. Yeah, or, or a vag. Uh-huh. You can't do it. It's just how it is. You can't do that. And to go, well, what's wrong? Why do I have to be politically correct? Because you want to be president. I say that they can, mm-hmm. they can do it. I feel that they can do it, but they got to take the consequences that come with it. Mm-hmm. So yeah. you call a nigga, so be a ready black to get your person, a nigga, get your, we have the right to punch you in your mouth. And, <laughs> and the next time one of these presidential people say they're down for the war, I wish one of the reporters would go, do you have a son or daughter? If they say yes, okay, we'll go to war. I'll, I'll put my son in, in, in it if you make your son go or you make your daughter enlist the day you say we're going to fight. Mm-hmm. If you're not going to do that, don't say it. Mm-hmm. Because all the motherfucking Republicans are like, oh, day one, we're going to fight. We're going to get the troops. We're going to do that and the other. So you're going to send your son. No, we're not sending my son. We're sending your son. Fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. I don't know why reporters don't stand up and go, hey, you keep saying we're going to go to war day one, you get in office. Are you sending your son to war? Are you sending your daughter to the front line? No, they're not. Don't vote Most for Most of them don't. And if, you, if you're not going to send your son or daughter to the first front line, I'm not voting for you. I'd vote for you if you say, my son is going to enlist the day one I win. He ain't getting on the front line. Hmm. I'll vote for you. 
Okay. Um, <laughs> Got that out. We lost a couple of people this week. Yes, we did. Uh, mm-hmm. Wes Craven, director Wes yep. Craven, wow. who who did Nightmare on Elm Street, mm-hmm. passed away. Uh, he had um, brain cancer, I believe. Ouch. Aye. And so uh, also someone that I enjoyed was Wayne Dyer, a very one of the, I think they said he's in the top 20 um, of the most famous uh, motivational speakers. Wayne Dyer? Wayne Dyer. The him. white boy with the ball head mm. that um, published many uh, motivational books and uh, audio books passed away. He was 75. Wow. <laughs> so, and that is the Poetess Report. <laughs> Good one, good one. Speedy sports. Oh shit! Oh. He was he was thought we were taking a break. Yeah, nigga, I was ready. Oh, you, you want? We can take uh, yes, we'll no, no, sports no. in the next break. We do sports. This break, this break was pretty long. So, uh, did you cue up your music? He was ready though. Maybe please. It's, it's already going. You ain't hit the cue. Hey. It's all new rollout show. We take a quick quick break. Come right back. We ain't be quick. Yeah. We'll be go, right. Back. I usually go for four hours. Hit us up three two three two nine three 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 seven five. Oh my birthday. And we'll be right back. In San Diego. 